won 2016. And two reasons. One, because he has a sense of humour about stuff. And he is basically the anti-establishment. And two, because the Democrats have no one better. The, the biggest mistake the Democrats run year after year after year is literally putting up people against Trump that are just pathetic. They put up Hillary Clinton and they got eviscerated. And now they're putting up Joe Biden and he's probably going to get eviscerated. And they don't seem to learn from this. They just seem to keep making the same mistakes time after time after time. And it's just, it seems to be just the Democratic Party is just corrupts to the core. It's just, it's this corporatism, it's this, this elitism. And, you know, we talked about this before, you know, that Nancy Pelosi showing off her fridges. And I believe at the time I said they were $25,000 each. Apparently they're $12,000 each. So, formal retraction. Fake newsing myself here. I got the price of the fridges wrong. Uh, apparently they were $25,000 for both, not one. But anyway. Um, my apologies. But, you know, like I say, it's this elitism that, you know, that Nancy Pelosi can sit there in front of her $25,000 refrigerators, or $12,000 each, with her $13 ice cream while people are starving. While people are lining up around the corner trying to get food banks. Nancy Pelosi is sitting there with her ice cream. And it's, it's, it's weird because even a billionaire that Trump is has realized how wrong the optics on this are. A, a, a man who literally sits on a gold toilet, supposedly, has realized how bad the optics are to the point where he's made an ad showcasing it. And it's not a long ad. We're going to watch the ad because... We turn now to that $350 billion. It's really kind of telling that Trump, a billionaire, can see how optics are bad on this. But Nancy Pelosi completely misses the point. And then this is from his actual YouTube account. I didn't even realize he had a YouTube account. But, yeah, I should probably subscribe if we're not already. But let's let's go through and let's... Billion dollar fund. Let's, let's watch this video. Help small businesses. This is a Trump ad. And this is why he's most likely going to win 2020 and its workers get through the shutdown. It will be up to Congress to restock it. But Democrats blocking that move this morning. They asked for a quarter of a trillion dollars in 48 hours. I said, well, I don't, I don't think so. They objected, and I congratulate the Senate Democrats. Speaker Pelosi, what are you going to share with us from your home? Chocolate candy. Thousands have been forced to wait for hours at food banks all across the country. This is... Oh my. Chocolate, and then we have some other chocolate here. We just got it restocked with the ice cream. You don't want to eat up everything all at one time. I can't do it much longer. I'm trying so hard. We were, can we say, enjoying. Having to admit that, yeah, we're starving, and I like it better than anything else. Taping this segment, there are 22 million people out of work. This specific program <laughs> is about stopping job losses today. This is hurting. People other people in our family go for some other flavors, but... Right now, it's survival mode. You don't know where that next something else is going to come from. I don't know what I would have done if ice cream were not invented. I just wonder. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why he's going to win 2020. Tell me anything in that ad is wrong. Tell me anything in that ad is fake. Did she hold up the money? Yep. Did Is Trump the one that was pushing for this bailout? Yep. Did she sat there while people were starving and gloat about having $13 tubs of ice cream and her $25,000 refrigerators? Yep. And while she's doing that, people are starving. People are going hungry. People are out of money. People are lining up 
for food, for food banks. While Nancy Pelosi sits in her million dollar house with her $25,000 refrigerators and her $13 tubs of ice cream, people are starving. And a billionaire sees how wrong that is. Not Nancy Pelosi, not AOC, not Bernie Sanders, not any of them. Bernie Sanders, maybe. Okay, maybe. But the, the establishment Democrat and, and half of the left, far left Democrats do not see how wrong that is. The Republicans... They do. The Republicans see how wrong it is to hold up money for everyday mum and pop who are having to shut down their businesses and this is why they're going to win 2020. Not because the, the Democrats have got this excellent candidate. The, the candidate's shit. And they know it. It's because Trump sees this. Trump wants to do something about this. And the Democrats don't care. And look, you can sit there and say, but Trump, he's a, he's a billionaire. Yeah, he is. But it's not Trump or the Republicans that are supposedly there to hold the Republicans in check. It's the Democrats who are supposed to be there for everyday people. It's the Democrats who are supposed to be there for everyday people and mum and dad and pop and and and, and to, to help with these social programs. It's supposed to be their agenda right now. And Trump is outlefting them. I don't even know if that's a good thing, but anyway. It's the Republicans that are turning around saying, people are starving, we need to give them food and money to help pay their bills. It's the Democrats who are sitting there, who are literally sitting there blocking bills. On the week that Trump was trying to push through this money to send the stimulus package, Nancy Pelosi wanted a vote on flavoured tobacco. She didn't want to vote on the stimulus package. She didn't want to push through that. She wanted to talk about flavoured tobacco. Trump, the Republicans, we need to save America. We need to send money to the American people. Nancy Pelosi, no, this week we need to talk about flavoured tobacco. Are you... Are you sure you don't know why you're losing the elections? Are you sure that you don't understand why you keep losing? Because maybe I can spell it out for you. It's called corruption. It's because of the fact that you're a liberal elitist sitting in your multi-million dollar mansion eating $13 tubs of ice cream on a TV show with another elitist who sits there joking about eating $13 tubs of ice cream while people are starving. How do you not get this? But like I say, Trump does. If anybody out there, any average day person, any mum and pop, small business owner out there sees this ad. You know what they see? Trump wanting to help us to survive. Trump wanting to help us to save our, our, ourselves, save our economy, save our businesses. Nancy Pelosi doing everything she can to block it while joking about eating $13 tubs of ice cream. Or joking about chocolate candy bar baskets. But you don't get it. And AOC didn't stand up for anybody. She could have gone through Congress. And she could have 
ask that the, the vote against Congress, against this, this stimulus package, was listed or marked down. But no, she was completely fine with the Democrats and the Republicans, I mean, it was mostly Democrats at this stage, going through and having an anonymous vote on this bill. Why? Because she doesn't want people to know the Democrats were the ones against it. But anyway, I digress. But this is why Trump's going to win in 2020. Because Nancy Pelosi is literally sitting there joking about her $13 tub of ice cream. While people starve. And while people need money. And while people are in, what, week five, six, seven? What week are we on this beer bug now? Trump's talking about opening the economy. What are the Democrats doing? Obstructing. Trying to stop it. People are wanting to get back to work. Protests all over America. People are saying we want to go back to work. What are the Democrats doing? Calling them, you know, Trump derangements. Calling them all sorts of names under the sun. But like I say, Trump gets it. These guys? They don't. Well, the Washington Times probably gets it. Um, Mrs. Pelosi, uh, Ms. Pelosi says she supports the blah, 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 and resist any House bill that doesn't reach all American small businesses. Yeah, right, sure. But yeah. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I'm, I'm going to uh, jump in and play Star Citizen because we got a new patch today. And it's fabulous. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, apart from that, guys, obviously these videos have been helpful. Please smack that like button if you're new to the channel. Welcome and subscribe. Three videos for the day. I hope you enjoyed them, guys. Apart from that, let me know what your thoughts are in any of the comments, and uh, we'll have a chat about it. Apart from that, guys, have a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow, or if you turn up to the gaming channel live stream, I'll see you then. Have a great night, and enjoy.